This is Gene Key, KDD News. ConnectAmarillo.com reports a Borger man was sentenced to 160 months in federal prison on Tuesday for a drug charge stemming from June 2011. Rafael Garcia Jr., 36, of Borger, pleaded guilty last November to the felony charge of possession with intent to distribute methamphetamine. A U.S. attorney says, along with a co-conspirator, Dustin Engler, 25, also of Borger, made arrangements with a confidential informant to sell meth outside a grocery store in Borger. The documents also indicated Garcia drove Inger to the store and directed him to place the drugs in a secluded area. An undercover informant was the arranged purchaser. Ingler also pleaded guilty to the same offense. He is scheduled to be sentenced on February 14th. Amarillo.com reports a female driver was transported to the hospital with non-critical injuries Tuesday morning after Amarillo police said she ran into a mobile home. About 11.23 a.m., officers were dispatched to the 2500 block of South Spring Street, where the driver clipped off one home's mailbox, another home's fence, and struck the third home. The woman was unconscious when the police first arrived. No one was home at the time. Police said speeding may have been a factor in the accident. Amarillo.com reports a Hemp Hill County grand jury indicted a singer man Thursday on a first-degree murder charge stemming from an October 29th incident north of Canadian, where Hemp Hill County Sheriff's officials said the man drove his pickup into another car, killing a Canadian woman. Travis Wayne Harden, 31, was arrested after he drove his pickup into a passenger car, killing driver Cynthia Hanshaw after she followed Harden in her car to get his license plate number. Hanshaw was pronounced dead at the scene. Harden's bond is set for $500,000. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.